Hi Sagittarius, the general reading for the sign of Sagittarius. So if you have Sagittarius strongly in your chart, this reading could resonate with you. But just a reminder that not every Sagittarius person is in the same life template. Not everyone is going through the same experience. Um, we're all different ages. We all live in different parts of the world. We all have different kinds of experiences that we're moving through. Um, so while this is meant for Sagittarius, it may not resonate with you this time, but hopefully there's something here that you can take with you as you move forward. Um, my beautiful friends, I do welcome you into this space. I'm grateful that you're here and I'm happy that you're here. So let's go ahead and look at, for this group of Sagittarius people, um, what is their current energy at this time? What is the current energy for this group of Sagittarius people? Current energy for Sagittarius, current energy for Sagittarius, current energy for Sagittarius people, current energy for Sagittarius. Energy for Sagittarius. Current energy for Sagittarius. All right. What is Sagitt What energy is Sagittarius moving into in the next immediate future? The energy that Sagittarius is moving into in the next immediate future. The energy that Sagittarius is moving into. In the next immediate future, please. Energy that Sagittarius is moving into. In the next immediate future. Energy that Sagittarius. Got to breathe here. Guidance for Sagittarius, please. Guidance for Sagittarius, please. Guidance, please, for Sagittarius. For some reason, it's hard for me to breathe during this shuffling. And when I don't breathe, um, it, the energy work doesn't happen very well because I push energy with my breath. So um, there's something about this that's kind of got this group of Sagittarius people a little bit breathless, like your breath is caught up in your chest somehow. Um, as we get into these current energies, we see that you're in the process here of making a decision, an action decision, a life choice decision. Um, this is a decision that requires action. It's a different decision than like the Two of Pentacles where you're trying to figure out how to juggle something. Um, you're trying to figure out your routine of your daily operations. It's a different energy. It's an energy of which way will you move. There, there's, I hear, I keep hearing this beeping and I don't know where it's coming from, unfortunately. So, um, Let me, let me go. I think I figured it out. That beeping will keep distracting me. So let me go ahead and find that just one moment here. Okay, I found it. I didn't know if you could hear that, but I could hear this beeping. And every time I could hear it, it took me out of my rhythm. So there is a life change that you're going about here. There's a decision. There's a life path. There's a fork in the road. And the, why, I always, why I say there's a fork in the road is because there's actually a road. Like you're in the process of moving. Um, you're in the process of your journey. And there is something here that you're trying to make a decision on that is that is possibly possibly going to require some kind of journey change. Um, a, a turn to the left or a turn to the right or... Um, going up a stairs, whatever it is, there's, there is a change here, a possibility that you're working through. There's something that's happened here where there's something new that has come in. Maybe it's something that you've been wishing for. 
Maybe it's new money. Maybe it's another offer that kind of just crept up on you that you weren't really expecting. Um, but there's definitely progress that's mean, being made here. This Wheel of Fortune is next to the star energy, which talks about some major growth, some major healing that's taken place here. This is happening because um, there's something here that you have really grown from, developed from, healed from here. Um, you have really been um, determining and finding out and cementing in what your truth is. So with your truth comes this Wheel of Fortune. With your truth comes this Wheel of Fortune. And there's something here that just fits so well for you, Sagittarius. It, it, there's something here. Okay, so I'm starting to really get deeper in this energy. There's something here as you were going along in your, in your, in your life, as you were gaining empowerment and healing and really starting to understand what motivates you and what brings you fulfillment, there is something that has come along here. Whether it's a new job, a bonus, um, a gig on the side. Something has happened here that really could give you the opportunity to shine. It really could here with the Wheel of Fortune. I want to get more from this Wheel of Fortune energy. Empress energy. Star. Damn, two stars. Like there's a, there's a, there's a new job here for you. There's some sort of new momentum here. And this is fortunate. This is fortunate. I mean, you're in the Empress energy here. So there is some kind of opportunity that is coming along that shows so much promise, gives you so much excitement and puts you in a place that could really put you in a place here of, of creativity, of connecting to the earth, of nourishing the land, of being a lover of life, a lover of people, a lover of anything that grows and breathes and has a pulse. Um, this is the energy of creativity, the energy of birth, um, the energy of um, Gaia energy, the other energy of Mother Earth. It is a beautiful in, um, feminine energy of internal health, but not only internal health, it's internal radiance. It's internal balance. It is the highest vibration of the eternal, of the yin, yin energy, the yin energy, <laughs> the yin energy. And there's something with this wheel of fortune, this new momentum, this new action. There's something here that's very fortunate that has shown up for you. Um, that is almost like a destiny for you. You have the star over a star here. Could have to do with a, with a, um, Aquarius energy because we have two stars. So there very much well could be an Aquarius here as part of this whole situation. It's an energy that's very stable. It's an offer or it's a job opportunity or it's a career or an occupation or a new relationship that is steady. It is substantial and it's long term. It might be slow moving, but it's, it's stable. It's substantial. I know I'm saying these words again, but these are the words that are coming out. It's, it's an offer to be, to really be considered. It's a, it's a fork in the road that should really be considered because it's showing so much promise. It's, tell me more about this Knight of Pentacles. This Knight of Pentacles energy. Three of Cups, celebration, union, reunion. Could be a team, a team of three. More about this Knight of Pentacles. Happiness, joyfulness. Two of Cups. A partner. A team. Tell me more about the star energy. 
There's just much more to the story. Like I, damn, soul connection, nine of wands. I mean, you were built for this. You were made for this. You fought your battles for this. You gained your your scars for this. Like it's something that's that is so beautiful here. But whenever there's a fork in the road, that means that there's something else to be considered, right? Else there wouldn't be a fork, else you would just turn to the right and not think twice. But there's a there's a decision here. Why is it the two of wands? Why the two of wands? Why the two of wands? Why is this actually a decision? Page of wands with the queen of wands. Do you have the confidence for it? Do you have the energy for it? Queen of wands. This is gonna take a lot of confidence it's going to take you really acknowledging your superpowers and managing your weaknesses. It's going, going to take you to being very intuitive and powerful within. Maybe it's championing something or representing something or doing something that's very vast and big and grand and much more profound than you've ever done before in your life. Maybe it's stepping through the door that's a scary part. But for some reason, there is there is um, a choice here that you're trying to make. But it seems to me like it could be destiny. And then you have this partnership here, this reunion here, and the Six of Cups, this soul connection. It could be about your family, about your people, about your tribe, about your ethnic group. It could be about an old friend or some deep, deep soul connection, something that's in your DNA, something that is gripped onto your heart or is part of your soul. Like there's something so deep and profound about this opportunity. Could be a business that you're wanting to start. Maybe somebody has come along that is just perfect to do this with you. But there's definitely something that's happened here with the Wheel of Fortune. There's definitely something happening here that has opened up some sort of fork in the road with another path that you can go on. And this path calls to your soul. It beckons. It beckons to your soul. Do you have the confidence? Let's see here what's coming up in the future. Now, I want to go deeper into this decision. Okay, I'm going to go stay here for just a couple more minutes, and I'm going to go deeper here. I'm going to put these energies back. No, I'm, I'm not going to put it back. I'm just going to pile them up. And I want to dig deeper into why we have this Tell us about option one. Option one, please. Give us option one. Option one, please. Option one. Option one. Whoa, jeez. Option two, please. Option two. Option two. It's just so much. I can't. Option two. Option two. All right. Let's see what we get here with these. Because there, there has to be another path, right? Else you wouldn't have a choice. And why is there this consideration about this choice. There has to be an alternative here, and I want to find out, like, what is, what is the difference between the two? We start out with the hanged man, the lover's energy, the wheel of fortune, and the world in the reverse. 
there could be a situation here. Um, the lover's energy is here. So there's been some sort of a need to make a decision about something that you love, whether it's a person, whether it's a relationship, an old career, an old occupation, a cause, a dream. There's been a need to make a decision. And for some reason, there's been some kind of delay here. There's constantly a delay. I just feel like there's a delay. Delay, delay. The world is in reverse. It just feels like there's never really been a resolution. The Wheel of Fortune is here, but with the wheel in reverse. I mean, the... the the Wheel of Fortune is here, but with the world in reverse. So it's like somehow the beginning never starts. The ending never ends and the beginning never starts. Although there's a Wheel of Fortune here. It's like there. this is a path that has been giving you, it's been baiting you, it's been teasing you, it's been pushing you along. It's been pulling you along, but even though there's momentum, there's never an actual beginning. Or even though there's momentum here, there's never actually a decision. But there's never actually an ending. It's just kind of continual limbo. Continual limbo here. Or you, 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 you get somewhere and then it stops. And you get somewhere and it stops. Okay, let's look to see what this other option is. Eight of Wands coming out. Two of Cups here. Seven of Cups. Knight of Swords. Six of Wands. <sighs> there is somebody coming in quite quickly. This could be an air sign. This could be anyone, but this person is coming in quite quickly. We have the Eight of Wands with the Knight of Swords. So this person is incoming, quickly incoming. It could have surprised you. Um, it's, a, it's a partner of some kind. It could be a new occupation, a new job, a new coworker, a new business partner, a new lover. And not only is this person coming in as a, as a potential partner, they're coming in offering quite a few options, quite a few ways to do this. And they're not afraid to move forward. We have the Knight of Swords next to the Six of Wands. I mean, this person is not afraid to move forward. They're not afraid to rise above the crowd. They're not afraid to step forward and do something new. And they're not afraid to be, to being seen. They're not afraid to market. They're not afraid to get out and sell something. They're not afraid to step through new doorways. They have a lot of courage, a lot of strength. And they're w walking forward with this truth, this directness. It's really attractive. Eight of Wands. I mean, they're also a good community. I mean, who is this amazing person? <laughs> or it's a job. It could be any. It's an energy. This is how I'm describing the energy of whatever this choice is. It could be a new business. A new business has been, you maybe have been approached to help create a new business. And somebody, this two of cups person could have approached you and said, you know, I'd love to do this with you. Would you be interested in um, going forward in this endeavor with me? Would you be interested in being a business partner? Would you be interested in helping me start this or run with this or um, take on this mission? Would you be interested? I would love to have you on the team some kind of energy like this. And it's honest, it's direct, it's powerful, it's surprising. And this person is not scared of being seen. This person could be someone in the public eye. This person has a lot of respect in the community. And there's a lot of different options here. It's like it's a beautiful starting point. Eight of Wands next to the Two of Cups. Like this is incoming. Eight of Wands. I love the Eight of Wands. When you're talking about time or you're talking about when is this going to happen, Eight of Wands is legendary for being incoming. You know, sometimes when I'll do, pull cards for myself and I'll say, like, how's my day going to be? And I'll get the Eight of Wands um, along with um, 
like the sign from my mother, like directly my mother will call me like within the next half hour. And I'll be like, there's an eight of wands again. You know, I mean, there's something powerful about the eight of wands. It's incoming, it's communication, it's activity, and it's very positive. Okay, so that talks a little bit about the two options here that are in front of you. So let me move, keep moving forward in this reading before I get too caught up in it. It's just that I want to be, um, I want to be comprehensive when I do these readings. Okay, so I feel good about that. I feel like I've cleared some energy there. Now let's look at what's in the future here. Damn, Ten of Cups. Knight of Wands. There's another Knight. Two of Swords. King of Swords. Ace of Swords. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Seven of Cups. Sagis. <laughs> I mean, you could be at the press, you could be at the beginning of some beautiful new experience here. Because along with this communication comes a lot of happiness here. This is something that you have dreamed about, that you have yearned for, that you have worked hard um, to engage with some sort of situation like this. I mean, honestly, this could be an approach of someone romantically. This could be the beginning of a beautiful new business venture. Ace of Swords is making a decision. Ace of Swords is a yes energy. Ace of Swords is clarity. It's like the victory. It's a victory of all victories. It's a new beginning of something very beautiful. It's clarity and it's a yes. It's right next to the other ace, which is the Ace of Pentacles. Now, I don't care that the Ace of Pentacles is in reverse. It just means that the Ace of Pentacles comes after the Ace of Swords. I mean, usually a new reality comes after the Ace of Swords, after the Ace of, um, after the Ace of, uh, man, I am just, what are they? Um, the Ace of Wands. How come I can't remember the Aces? It's so bizarre. I mean, this energy is just Ace of Cups. Yeah, I mean... For me, usually the Ace of Pentacles is the last Ace. It's the most significant Ace because it's the new reality. Like it's finally here, right? You can have ideas all day long. You can say yes all day long. You can take action with the Ace of Wands all day long. You can run on that hamster wheel all day long, right? But when you get the Ace of Pentacles, that's something real. That's the last Ace. And that's usually the epiphany of like, oh my gosh, I have accomplished this. Right? That's the Ace of Pentacles, and it's here. Is the Ace of Pentacles actually here yet? I don't think so. But I think this Ace of Swords and how you feel about this new opportunity um, really gets you thinking that this Ace of Pentacles is on its way, that this new reality could be part of your journey moving forward. And we have to admit that the Ace of Pentacles is in this reading. It's just in reverse. It just hasn't happened yet. Because there's a lot of different ways that this can really carry itself out. Now, we have to admit that the Knight of Wands is in this reading. Okay, the Knight of Wands is a very, well, it is Sagittarius energy. Knight of Wands is Sagittarius energy. And this is a Sagittarius reading. So it's like a perfect energy. Sorry, I bumped the table. It's a perfect energy. It's like a natural energy for you. It's something that's so natural and beautiful for you. I, I just don't think there's going to be any way that you are going to um, not go down this path. We have Sagittarius energy. We have another Aquarius energy. It could also be Libra energy. Maybe Gemini, but I doubt it. It doesn't have to be any of these signs. But I think that in the next few weeks, you're going to have a chance to really sink your teeth into what this is. 
And we do have the Two of Swords here, which is talking about the need here to really spend some time and gather some information because this is so natural for you. It's such an enthusiastic energy. Um, it's going to be necessary here to take a pause, to take, to stop just a little bit, to slow down just a little bit and to gather some details. That's what the Two of Swords does. Um, you could be scared even to gather details. I mean, this could be such a beautiful opportunity that you're kind of scared to ask questions. Don't be scared. It's best to find out now. Ask some really good questions. Google questions to ask when offered a job. Question to ask, questions to ask before you um, go into partnership with someone, right? Things to think about. Do some research because the Two of Swords is here next to the King of Swords, which is telling me that there is a need here to take a little bit of time and really kind of put the puzzle pieces together so that you can see the big picture, so that you can make good choices, so that you can use discernment as you move forward. Because there's something about this that is truly awe-inspiring for you, Sagittarius. It's just something that just makes you so happy. I mean, I don't see that you're, I don't think you can even contain this. You're going to call your mom or you're going to call your friend and say, can you believe what just happened? What do you think I should do? So there is, um, it does look like you are going to spend a little bit of time here digging up the details with the two of swords and um, finding clarity around this. And um, I think you're going to be in this excitement for a little while, but then after a few days, I think you're going to be able to start writing down some questions that you have. For example, well, if I do make this change, um, how, you know, what will it look like in a month from now? What will it look like in a year from now? In five years, how will I feel about this? And maybe ask, you know, start thinking, I don't know what this situation is or who this person is. Uh, but there is a need here to find some clarity and to dig a little deeper here with the Two of Swords next to the King of Swords. And you have the Seven of Cups here too. I think that there's just a lot of opportunity with this. Um, but I think that it's important here to um, find your grounding, to find a foundation, to make sure your feet are flat on the earth um, so you don't start start a forest fire with all this passion here, especially with this air here that you have. There's air quality. I feel the star energy is here. Um, so you have air and you have this passion. So when you have passion mixed with the air, you could really catch on fire, you know, and go for this. Um, I know because I'm Aquarius and um, when I get in your energy, I just, it's just combust. It's just, it's, it's amazing. It's, it's a beautiful energy to be in. I'm also Sagittarius rising, so I also have Sagittarius energy in me, and I know how it feels. Um, but this is something that just is, it's calling your name, Sagittarius, it's calling your name. And it does look like it could be um, a beautiful and, and emotionally fulfilling journey. Tell me more about this Ace of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Ace of Pentacles, please. More about this Ace of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, there is some decision here to make. Um, There could, this journey could require you to move on from something here that you've been holding on to for a while. It, it, there's a decision here to be made here with the Two of Pentacles. See, we have decision Two of Swords, Two of Pentacles. Um, it's something that it's, it's starting from the beginning, I feel. It's starting from a beginning point. So there is a little bit of risk here, but there's also a lot of potential. There's a little bit of risk. It's starting at one. Starting at one. One pinnacle, eight of pentacles. He's finished one. Page of cups could be a new introduction here. See, there's this other offer here. 
There's this other way here that you could still be connected to. But there is a new introduction here. There's a new idea. There's something new here. It's something that's coming forward in this very loving energy with the Knight of Cups. It's, it's really a dream come true here. And here's the Queen of Swords as well. So now we have the King and Queen of Swords. We have a Wish Fulfillment card, a Knight of Cups card, which is the energy of love, and a Page of Cups. So there's something here, whether this is a lover or whether this is a career or a new business, it's something that really inspires you. It's a dream come true. But there's something here that you're going to have to give up. And you're trying to figure out if, if this is, I think this is about information gathering. Coming, coming in, finding a quiet place writing things down, writing down questions, incorporating this logic, this rationality, making sure that you are in tune with what brings you happiness and fulfillment. Asking yourself, can you implement this? Because there's something you're deciding. There's something that's pulling you back to the other but the, it seems like the energy of the other is a di totally different energy altogether because it comes with a five of cups. There's a need to disconnect from the past here. And you could be feeling kind of defensive about this other, other opportunity, this other path. You could be feeling kind of defensive, like you've worked really hard in the other way. You've worked really hard with the other one. You've put your time in. Right? I mean, you could be almost to completion. You could be almost there. The person that you're with could be almost ready to propose or whatever. You could be almost ready to get that promotion or almost ready to be promoted to another position. You could be almost ready for something in the other one. And this one requires you to change, uh, change your direction. So there's something here that you're working with. But there's definitely something that's come out of left field here that's that's now being offered to you um, that's super exciting and feels and it's very natural for you here. But there is a need to ask more questions now and dig deeper into this, whatever this is. Okay, let's see here what the guidance is. What is the guidance? Death energy, Scorpio energy. Knight of Cups, Eight of Cups. I mean, transformation. Maybe this is a great gift that the universe is giving you. I mean, the transformation card is here. Allowing for something new to come in, allowing for a different opportunity, a new perspective. Allowing something to come to an end and something new to begin. What brings the most love into your heart? What brings you to a place of deep inspiration? Which path do you think would allow you to walk forward in the healthiest version of your most loving self? There is guidance here to move to what brings you the most fulfillment, the most internal health, and to walk away from, from what no longer serves you, from what no longer fulfills you. So there is the walking away energy here. Tell me more about the Eight of Cups. Tell me more about the Eight of Cups, please. Four of Cups. There's something here that is no longer good for you in a, in a way. Empress. I mean, there's something here that's kept you locked, kept you locked and tied, kept you in captivity, kept you in a circle cycling. Look at the Empress here. She's in a situation here that she um, is discontented, is not at her healthiest place. And look, she's in the Eight of Swords. She's in this cycle. 
Um, there's some perspective or some belief system or some kind of negative illusion that's keeping her trapped in a situation that's not that's not healthy because she is an empress energy. She is Gaia. Something is keeping her down. The, the guidance here is to walk, is to walk away, walk, walk towards something new, walk towards something more, um, more promising, more exuberant, more passionate, more adventurous, more fulfilling. Tell us more about this Knight of Cups. Tell us more about this offer of love, this love energy. Tower, a big change. A big change. Fast incoming change for Sagittarius. Ace of Swords, yes. Okay, Sagittarius, I, I think, I mean, I don't know how much more clearly it can be said. So I'm going to end it here. This is a very, like... It's, it's like a blunt, passionate, exciting reading. I mean, it's just, it's, it's different than any of the readings I've done this week. Definitely different. Let me see what I'm going to dig farther into here. Um, I'm going to dig, we had the star energy come out twice. So I'm going to dig deeper into the star energy, definitely deeper into the wheel of fortune energy. Um, let me see what else here. I'm going to dig definitely more into this Ace of the Ace of Pentacles and into the Ten of Cups. So the, the energies I'm going to dig into in the extended reading are the Star Energy, the Wheel of Fortune, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. And then after I'm done with that, I'll look at the people who are around you and what their intentions are for the future. Um, and hopefully that will give you more information about who some of these players are that are here, who some of these people are and what their intentions are and how they think as this moves forward. All right, Sagittarius, this has been fun. It's been very interesting. I hope it's helped you in some way. And um, I hope that you have a beautiful journey. I really do. It's always fun to read for you, Saggy. All right. Thank you very much. Bye.